everybody. Well, I finally figured out how to get that, uh, all that weird rig that took the place of the, the four, the, the four stock bolts on, uh, the 30 caliber hot sun, uh, brake barrel, uh, 135 QE, I think it's called. And, uh, I'll show some pictures of it. I basically had the, the it's like the it's like the, the four stock sleeves, those metal sleeve threaded metal sleeves in the four stock of a model ninety five, which you saw me cut down to fit the one thousand X action or XS whatever. And uh, they cut four equidistant like square mouse tooth holes. In, it, in the edge of it, where I had to take some bent needle nose, the ones where the, 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 the tips bent like this, and stick that in those holes to hold it, to take a big screwdriver, it, stick it through the swivel on the opposite side, to turn the swivel counterclockwise to tighten the, 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 the tooth sleeve clockwise on the other side to push it in and away from the screw the lock screw so I could get that lock screw out. Everybody's stripping them things because they're not turning that sleeve inward to unlock the screw so you can physically get it out. And then you, you, you once you remove that screw, you stick the, 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 the bent needle nose in those tooth holes again and crank it counterclockwise to unscrew it from the, uh, from that sleeve. And here is the swivel with that threaded rod stuck on it. Let's see what I can do. I don't know how to get that the washer came off. But it's, you got that, the sleeve, and a little tiny screw. I'll show that in the picture. So now. We can finally get this apart. It's a 135 carnivore, but as I say, it's the, it's the brake barrel. And I guess the owner buggered that up as whoever was helping him. I made it worse. <laughs> It's all, it's got some little dings, dangs, and bangs in there from shipping. I'll have to pad it better when I ship it back. And, uh, quattro trigger, adjustable cheek piece, and all that. And it's got the shock absorber system, so it doesn't kick as much. That's a big pedal, too. But, we will be putting a uh, higher power gas cartridge in it. Plus, he's got a, a sus oh, another muffler to stick out. Don't screw this thing, stick it in. It makes the barrel longer, so make it easier to cock because this barrel is pitifully short. And then, once we get all that done, we'll touch up the, I'll touch up the stock and mix up some custom stain to get as close as I can to doing that. And, that I'm pretty decent at. And then we'll test it. So, I guess there ain't nothing left to it but to do it. I was in the hospital for a month too, so I lost a month there from Christmas Eve day until a week ago on Monday. Finally got out of there and got squared away a little bit, and I'm doing better. So, that's it. Okay, and here is a, a better look at the Carnivore 135 Hot Sound 30 caliber brake barrel. Seat adjuster screws for the cheek piece there. Some decent checking. And here is the buggered up screw in the sleeve. Couldn't get that thing to come out of there for a love of money. And, 
Here are the bent needle nose and the big screwdriver I used to do the job with. And here is the sleeve cranked in about two turns of the hair more with the screw removed. That has to be cranked in to unlock the screw basically. And here's the buckered up screw. The threads are fine but the head is shut. So I'll get a new one. And here are the three constituent parts that you have to remove to get the action out. Might get to get a new sleeve too. That right there is why I don't right here is why I don't tie the the sling the slings on. Attach it to the sling swivel so I can get the gun apart without having to figure out how to untie the darn thing. And it looks like I gotta I gotta use this spring compressor and stick something through there to hold that on there while I knock those three pins out to release it. A little bit more complicated on these newer ones. And you can see the trigger assembly and then this thing here is L shaped bracket that goes down the stock that kind of holds the the action up at the right level. Okay, I got the sling disconnected from the stock. It's easier I'm trying to disconnect it over here. Um, if I can find some one inch buckles, you know the buckles like you use to make the sling shorter or longer or like they use on a on a helmet to, con to connect the, the two ends of the strap under your chin. Find those in a one inch size and I can fix this. Because then I can put it through the sling swivels like this one right here and be able to uh, properly connect the sling the way it's supposed to be done. I'm just not one to do things to do things halfway. I like to do it right or just leave it alone until I can. Dialing bushing here that that uh, four stock screw rig goes through. Just one of that big hole there is where you stick a punch through there to hold it where you can knock the pins out and then put the spring compressor on there and then release the tension. Since this room's been remodeled, I'm gonna have a whale of a time finding a couple of the tools I need to finish this job. But that will go quickly. Oh and uh I am going to fix these dings and stuff and try, especially right here, oh my lord, that's terrible. Sand it down as smooth as I can and then I'll mix up some of my stains. 224 and 231 mixed together, I'll do it. So, that's it for this time. Good Lord willing, the creeks don't rise. We'll see you again. <laughs>